Happy last weekend of October. You better be writing your list of what you are thankful for because Thanksgiving is right around the corner. I know I, for one, am very thankful for you guys. Thank you for continuing to watch these videos. We got a gear and shoe deal roundup again today. 10 of the best deals out there. I'm trying to put a little bit more emphasis in these videos on some of the gear because I know as we get into those cold months, Brands really try to tax us with some of the full price gear. You don't need to be paying $150 for a winter running jacket. You don't need to be paying $80, $100, $120 for winter running tights. So in this list, I got you with some of those lower price options. Yes, we are gonna see the most value from some of the bigger brands. If you wanna go to a boutique running brand like a Tracksmith or a Bandit, you're gonna be paying a pretty penny. It is nice to support the small guys, but it's also nice to support our family and put food on the table. And that's what this video is all about, helping save you money. So I rounded up some of those best sub $100 shoe deals and sub $50 gear deals. Before we get into it today, if you're looking for a new running shoe and you haven't checked out the Running Shoe Matcher tool, go ahead and head to runningshoematcher.com. This is a really cool tool that I built. Yes, I'm nerdy. I get behind the scenes with the data. It'll ask you five questions. You put in your answers. If you want a tempo shoe, a race day shoe, daily trainer, if you like your shoes soft or firm, if you need stability or not, and we'll match you with the best shoe for you. So it's live right now and you can check it out at runningshoematcher.com. I'll also put the link in the description below. All right, let's get into these deals. Like I mentioned in that intro, paying $100, $150, $200 for a running jacket that you'll wear probably three or four times in the winter is absolutely criminal. So if like me, you live in a warmer climate where it'll get sub 30, maybe once in the winter or twice in the winter, all you need is one really solid layer to keep the wind off, keep the water off of you when it gets a little bit rainy. I found a really good deal on this Adidas running jacket. It's called the Adidas Marathon Jacket and it's $22 right now at REI. Now Adidas is one of these companies that creates really quality gear, but over the past few years, they've lost a little bit of brand equity, not just in the running community, but in their portfolio or at large. Yes, they had the Yeezy deal, which we all know how that went, but that was their one little bit of cool brand cachet that they still had left and now that yay is gone they don't have much so a lot of their inventory has just been hanging out there so they discount their shoes they discount their gear and you will find basement bargain prices on the a lot of the adidas stuff i actually got two pairs of adidas running shorts for 14 dollars at rei last month and those are my favorite running shorts now they got little pockets this marathon jacket also looks like a really solid option it's lightweight it's got a zip up it's also water repellent so if you're looking for that new lightweight winter jacket and you don't want to pay for something from one of those trendy running brands, this is a really good option to save you some money. All right, next up, we got some tights. So Nike has been running some good sales through Dick's Sporting Goods, and these are the Nike warm tights for $25. I mentioned this in the video last week, but a good pair of tights, either underneath your shorts or by themselves in the winter, that's all you really need for your lower body to keep you nice and comfortable once those temperatures go, let's say below 30 degrees. Anything above 35, 40 degrees, I'll tend to go with shorts, especially if I'm pushing the pace. But once it gets below that, and once we get the wind chill, then a good pair of tights is absolutely crucial. I've had really good luck with the Nike running gear. Everything from the shorts to the tanks to the shirts, Nike has a really solid lineup of running gear. These warm tights are gonna be no different. And if you compare it to the Tracksmith tights at $120, $130, this is an absolute bargain. I would not recommend paying that price at all for a piece of running gear. I will right, we'll get back to the gear in a second, but a little curveball here. This was a really good women's only deal. Now they're selling the Hoka Carbon X3 for $60 at REI. Now this is Hoka's carbon fiber plated shoe that was their main racer before the Rocket X came out. It doesn't use Piva, it uses one of their EVA blend type of foams. This is a really solid shoe if you are a four hour, four and a half, maybe even five hour marathon runner who's looking to get out there, get a little bit more energy return and get a little bit more stability than you would have from a super shoe but more energy return than you'd have for a daily trainer also looks really good so if you want something for your long runs if you want something for those tempo efforts during the week you don't want to pay 250 dollars for a nike vaporfly because you don't think your performance will justify it then the carbon x3 is a great choice that will save you money and it will give you that carbon experience without having to pay the full price and once you wear it through these at 300 400 miles then you could transition maybe to a super shoe for your next marathon 
All right, team, one more gear deal before we get into the shoes, and that is the Nike Myler tank top for $22. I really wanted to highlight a racing shirt for you all since I know we still have a few fall marathons left and a few fall half marathons left out there for us to hit those PRs and have all that hard work and training pay off. Now, I just raced my goal race last weekend, and I also wore a Nike running shirt. It wasn't even a singlet. It was just a short sleeve shirt. It was black. I love wearing black for race day with just a little bit of pop of color. I did wear my Tracksmith shorts. I know I've been bashing on Tracksmith in this video. They do make quality stuff and those are a gift, but I don't recommend buying it full price out of your own pocket. But the Nike racing stuff is really solid. I also love wearing the swoosh on race day. Yes, there are newer brands like those Tracksmith and Bandit out there that are taking the running community by storm, but there's just something about lacing up those vapor flies, putting on a hat with the Nike swoosh on it, or putting on a shirt with the Nike swoosh on it, that makes me feel like an athlete. Now, so if you're still looking for your singlet for the next race, I would recommend this Nike Myler tank top at $20. It's going to be a lot cheaper than what you see on the market for one of those niche brand singlets. I think I mentioned this before, but I used the District Vision singlet in one of my half marathons earlier this year, and I looked like the Target logo, just two Target logos plastered on my chest because my nipples were so bloody from that District Vision singlet. So Shame on you, District Vision. Good job by you, Nike, because I had no chafing in that Nike race shirt that I wore for my last race. And you won't either if you pick up this Nike Myler. All right, guys, let's get into the shoes. First up, we have the Nike Pegasus 40. Now, this shoe has an MSRP of $140, and it's on sale for $98 at Dick's Sporting Goods right now. This is one that I always like to highlight in here when it is on sale, and it's usually on sale for under $100 because it's just such a solid, durable, reliable, and consistent daily training shoe. If you need something to just eat up a bunch of miles and you don't need anything too fancy, also if you want a good walking shoe, good coffee shop shoe, good gym shoe, then the Pegasus 40 is a great choice for that. It's one of those shoes you can just put it on, hit the treadmill for 20 minutes, do a weightlifting session, and you'll feel great. You won't have any instability doing other non-running activities in the shoe. All right, next up, we got another Nike here. Now, I usually like to highlight shoes that are only under $100. I decided to put this one in here. It is the Nike Invincible Run 3 for $126, but the MSRP on this is $180, and I haven't seen this on sale at all yet, so I thought I would throw this deal in here for you fans of the Invincible. Now, the Invincible is Nike's max cushion shoe. It has that full-length bed of ZoomX foam, same thing we see in the Vaporfly. This is kind of a controversial shoe. Some people like the way it feels. Some people say it's too unstable. Some people say it's awkward and clunky and heavy. It's very polarizing. But if you do like this shoe and you're looking for a backup pair, I would highly suggest it. 126. I'm not sure when we're going to see this deal come around again. And if you like the shoe and it works for you, it's a great time to pick up another shoe. This is also a great time of the year to build up your rotation of max cushion shoes as we head into the winter. This is the best time of the calendar for just building our aerobic bases up. I'm looking forward to ramping my mileage up again to 100, 110 miles per week. I'm down at 40 miles per week this week to let my body recover. I'm just itching to get back out there and get my mileage up again. So a shoe like the Invincible Run 3 is the perfect choice for this part of the year. All right, guys, next up, we have the Brooks Hyperion Max for $90 at Dick's Sporting Goods. Now, this usually retails for $170, so we're seeing an $80 discount here. Also, by the way, I'm including the normal price of these shoes because someone last week suggested I do that. So thank you guys for always giving me suggestions on how to improve these videos. If you have any other suggestions, I'll look to incorporate them as long as you're not mean in the comments. But anyway, $90 at Dick's Sporting Goods for the Hyperion Max. This is a shoe that I tried over the summer with some mixed results. When I was running with good form, when I was running strong and with high turnover, the shoe worked okay for me. However, when I got tired, my form started to degrade. It didn't work that well, especially on the left side. I've had a little bit of instability issues on that side of my body. I'm trying to correct my stride a little bit, but I was heel striking on the left side and this shoe does not work well at all for heel striking because it has this little cut off in the back area. I think it's to save weight, but because the heel foam cuts out, if you are a heel striker, this isn't gonna work for you. Now, if you're a four foot to mid foot striker, this is a great choice for a non-plated up-tempo shoe. It does have some pretty solid energy return, but I do have to note that it's a lot firmer than a lot of the other tempo shoes on the market. For example, even if you compare this to an Adidas Takumi Sen, which is firm in its own right from those carbon fiber rods, Hyperion Max is gonna be a bit firmer than that. It's a full length bed of super critical EVA foam, which seems to work well for faster efforts for four foot strikers and also bigger runners. 
And next up, we have the New Balance 880 V13. This one is on sale for $80 at Dick's Sporting Goods. Now this normally retails for 140, so this is a $60 discount. That's a really great price. The colorway is this bright yellow. If you don't like bright colorways, this is not gonna be for you. I love to have a few shoes in my collection though, always that have some bright pops of color. So if you're like me, then go ahead and pick up this 880. This is gonna be one of those durable workhorse style of trainers, similar to that Nike Pegasus, that Adidas Audi Zero SL, or that Asics Gel Cumulus. There's nothing too spectacular or special about the ride, but if you want something that's just simple, that's reliable, that you can use for long runs, everyday training, recovery runs, that's not gonna feel unstable, that's just gonna be a good option to get you out the door and to get through those miles, then check out the 880 V13. New Balance has been running a a lot of good sales lately. I have to commend them, take my hat off for that because a lot of these other brands out there, even when they add the new iteration of shoes, won't drop their prices that much. New Balance does a good job of when they flip over to the next generation, reducing their prices and also just putting intermittent sales throughout the year. Adidas does this as well. Now, I'm not sure if this is all intentional and for the benefit of runners, but it does benefit runners. So thank you, New Balance, and thank you, Adidas, for running some good sales. And on that note, we have two more New Balance shoes to close out this rundown. Next one is going to be the 1080 v12 permafrost now this is the waterproof version of that 1080 running shoe the 1080 v13 just came out i'm absolutely loving the way it feels really nice and soft cushion feel without being too mushy now the v12 is going to be a little bit firmer than that v13 or a lot bit firmer than that v13 not as fun to run in but still have a nice structured cushioning to it if you like how that feels if you like shoes like the Saucony endorphin shift 3 or the audi zero sl even the nike pegasus then the 1080 V12 might be a good choice. I also do like having one waterproof shoe in my rotation for the winter months. So if you're looking for that, then the permafrost version of the V12 is a good choice. And at 80 bucks, that's honestly a steal for a waterproof running shoe. You're not gonna find a lot of waterproof running shoes at this time of the year on sale for under hundred bucks. Finally, we have the New Balance SC Trainer V1. I had to record this three times until I could say it properly for $105 at Dick's Sporting Goods. Now this is $5 above our sub $100 cutoff, but it's got a carbon fiber plate. Let's just say you're getting the plate for five bucks here. So the SC Trainer is a max cushion shoe with the plate. It uses that fuel cell foam. So the other New Balance shoes, which we highlighted in this roundup, use the fresh foam, which is an EVA compound, which is gonna be on the firmer side. This fuel cell is on the softer, more energy returning side. It is their race day foam. It's a compound that blends EVA and TPU. And in this SC Trainer, there's a huge stack of it. It's above 40 millimeters in the V1, which is interesting to see in a plated shoe. But this was designed as a shoe that could do recovery miles, that could do daily training miles, that could do some workouts if that's your thing, if you want a bit of a heavier, more structured shoe for workouts. This is a great high mileage shoe for you if you're doing a lot of training right now, if you're in that highest zone that you've ever been training in, it's good to have a shoe like this in your rotation to help take some of that burden off your legs. Now this normally retailed for $180 when it was the current model version of the shoe. They're onto the V2 now. But even so, I haven't seen this on sale for under 110 at any point in the past few months, even since the V2 came out. So great deal now. So great deal here with a $105 price point. All right, guys, there you have it. Thank you for watching. I'll be back next week with another gear deal roundup. I'll also be back tomorrow with another video. So please, if you like this channel, subscribe, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up. Hope you have a great weekend. Hope you get those miles in. Enjoy those long runs. Enjoy the beautiful fall weather, and I will see you next time.